He's a Jacksonville dad, a horse nuzzler, a goat wrangler, and if Mark Ryder is doing his job correctly, he's the guy that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand straight up. Striking from every angle, the sharks cut off any escape route. Shark Week is back, and as in the past, nationally acclaimed voiceover artist Mark Ryder will play a role. I started narrating for Discovery Channel a little over five, six years ago and got my first Shark Week gig, which was like the Super Bowl of voiceover um, exactly five years ago. And the cool thing was it was actually a two hour show and I was all excited getting ready to uh, to record this, but I'd never done a two hour show before. And most people don't know this, but it usually takes two to three hours to record a one hour show, let alone a two hour show. In the radio biz, we call what Mark's got pipes, but it's more than just a great voice that gets you gigs like Budweiser, Planters, the Discovery Channel, the CW, professional sports teams like the Tampa Bay Lightning. Lift with your voices and be the thunder. So, after about five hours of recording for this show, I was whooped. And I realized that the, the guys that really do this all the time are at the top of their game amazing, you know? And so I've literally spent the last, you know, five years training on a monthly basis to be able to, to, be able to do this on a daily basis. For something like this, a Shark Week documentary, producers will send a rough draft in advance for Mark to view. He watches to familiarize himself with the material, and then the work begins. It is the most unglamorous thing in show business, uh, because usually it's a pretty intimate affair. It involves the writer, maybe the producer, and an audio editor who are listening usually from different remote locations, and uh, I'm hearing them in my ear, and we're having a conversation, and it's not usually ever put together live to the picture itself. My homework is to watch the show, know how to tell the story and then do it and kind of remember where I am along the way in the story and fit the mood and the pacing and the energy for each scene because it changes constantly. Nobody ever wants to hear the same monotone thing all hour long. It will sound boring, right? So um, it's my job as the narrator to bring that story to life. Not every job falls into Mark's wheelhouse. I narrated a sexy novel and uh, it's on Audible, and I will not tell you how to find it or where to find it. All I know is that I, it made me very uncomfortable reading the words that I was reading. I bet you'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't know me. Well, actually, maybe he does. You see, Mark and I go way back to when he first arrived in Jacksonville to host the Mark, Ginny, and Dahmer show on what was back then Rock 105. He was a radio guy. But now, as his own boss and an extremely successful voiceover talent, he and wife Danielle could have chosen anywhere to live. I moved to Jacksonville like, what, 15 years ago now? 15, 20 years ago? And fell in love with it and made tons of friends here. And when we had the chance to put our flag anywhere in the country, the St. John's County school systems are amazing. We have two young kids and we had friends and family here and you get so much for your money that it was kind of like a no-brainer for us to come back and make this our home. We've got everything from goats to birds to horses to dogs. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's I, I like to care for things in my life. Riley, my oldest, uh, 16, literally just took him for his driver's test this week. And uh, the kid's amazing. Was born with a neurological disease and a, uh, and a hearing issue. And has since gone on to do amazing things like get all A's in honors classes um, through his now going into his junior year of high school at Bartram. And then there's Emerson, my little five-year-old spitfire, red-haired, uh, high-strung Australian work dog. And every morning he gets up with me at the crack of the crack and we go out and we feed the horses together and he cleans out his own horse's stall and does a phenomenal job each morning of only mildly complaining. You may notice we're not the only ones documenting this interview. Emerson likes to video everything going on around him. You can subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's called Emergy, a cross between Emerson and Energy. 
something you need to wrangle goats. Hey, watch this. Emerson, wrangle Sig. <laughs> so keep an eye out for Emerson and an ear out for Mark. And kudos to him because finding that perfect balance between bringing the excitement and just way overdoing it isn't easy. In the, in the voiceover business, this is what we call overacting. But how safe are they? See, now that was good. <laughs> you can catch Mark narrating Monster Under the Bridge, part of Shark Week, on the Discovery Channel.